It's a very windy day at Construction HQ. I wonder what they'll be building today. Oh wow, the towpath for the canal. That looks amazing. To build a towpath, they'll need paving slabs. Here comes Rocky the riverboat to deliver them. Oh, it is windy today. Rocky loves to listen to music on his big headphones. There, now to unload the slabs. Gently there. Thanks, Rocky. Now the crew can get to work on the towpath. But the wind is picking up. Oh no! Mr. Rubble's hat. It's landed on the back of Rocky. Not to worry. Mrs. Skip can get it. She's even trying it on. Oh no! Rocky is sailing on. But he doesn't realise Mrs. Skip is still on the back. Come back, Rocky. He can't hear them because of his big headphones. What's Mrs. Skip going to do? She can't get carried off down the river. Who knows where she'll end up? They have to get Rocky's attention somehow. Watch where you're going, Mr. Rubble. Oops, Mr. Rubble hit a box. Diggly is racing ahead to try and stop Rocky. Maybe he can get his attention with this ball. Good thing Mrs. Skip has the helmet. Hmm, what's Daisy up to? She's brought the stack of slabs. I wonder what her plan is. She's hopping up on top. Hooray! She saved Mrs. Skip. She's back on dry land, safe and sound. Phew. Later on and the towpath is almost finished. Rocky is drifting past again, still listening to his music. He never knew anything was wrong. It's another windy day at Construction HQ. That wind really is blowing today. But today they're building a bigger enclosure for the sheep at the farm. Oh dear. The old sheep enclosure is far too small. Good job they're building a new one. That wind really is cold. And whoa, strong as well. But wait, what's Diggly seeing? Look, it's an old farm windmill, but it's wobbling all over the place in the wind. I think it's going to collapse. They have to stop it falling onto the sheep. Phew, good job, Daisy. Now it's falling towards the pigs. Uh-oh, look out. Phew, Daisy saved us again. Now it's falling back towards the sheep again. Oh dear, this is no good at all. What are they going to do? Wait, I think Diggly has an idea. Hmm, Diggly's climbed up on a box. He's taken the wheel off the top. Ah, he's taking the old tower apart from the top down so it can't fall over and hurt anyone. In no time at all, they've taken the tower apart. Now what can they do with all these planks of wood? They can recycle all the old planks from the tower and use them to build a bigger pen for the sheep. It's always good to build something new out of something old, instead of throwing things away. There, now the sheep have a much bigger place to play. Good job everyone! It's still a bit windy. Uh-oh, Mr. Rubble's hat. One of the sheep has it. Now he's got to get it. Look, today the construction crew are going to build a canal. That will be great fun. First they need to dig a trench for the water. Bump and CJ want to help. But looks like Diggly and Daisy have it covered. Maybe they don't need Bump and CJ. In no time at all, the trench is dug. Good job, everyone. Daisy's ready. And smash. Here comes the water. It'll reach Diggly and Mr. Rubble any second. 
Any second. Where is it? There must be a blockage somewhere. Diggly's taking a look. Look, it's spilling out over there. Quick, Daisy needs to fix it. Oh dear, how will they plug this gap? <gasps> CJ, of course. She can use her cement to fix the leak. Good job, everyone. But now look, that rock is blocking the canal. That rock is too heavy for Daisy to move. But here comes Bump. He can move that. Hooray! Good work. There, at last the water has filled up the canal. They couldn't have done it without CJ and Bump's help. Good teamwork. The whole construction crew are getting ready for today's job. They're building that crumbly old building. That can't be right. Oh, they're demolishing the building. Daisy is so excited. Soon enough, it's time to get to work. The building looks like it could fall down any moment. It'll be safer to knock it down. Everyone is ready to get started. But wait, stop everyone. There's a little kitten beside it. Oh no, the kitten could get hurt if they knock it down now. Phew, Diggly stopped them just in time. They need to get the kitten out of harm's way. She's so cute. Ooh, I think Mr. Rubble's afraid of cats. The kitten ran back inside. Oh dear, they can't knock down the building with the kitten inside. Diggly's trying to get her to come out with some milk. Daisy wants to pet the kitten, but Diggly thinks that will frighten her. Oh no, Daisy accidentally hit the building. I think it's going to collapse, but the cat is still inside. What will they do? Maybe Mr. Rubble can help, but he'll have to face his fear of cats. <gasps> Mr. Rubble is small enough to fit inside. Phew, Mr. Rubble saved the kitten. And just in time, that was a close one. Mr. Rubble was very brave to rescue the kitten. I think he's got over his fear of cats now. He's made a friend. Oh, Diggly has a new book. Everyone wants to see. It's all about dinosaurs. But Mr. Rubble is waiting. It's time to start work. Today they're building a roundabout. Soon everyone is hard at work. Diggly just wants to read his book. But now isn't the time. There's work to do. Wait, what's Diggly found? It looks like some old bones. I wonder what they are. Daisy's collecting them up. There are so many. Oh, I think they're dinosaur bones. Now they just need to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Everyone is helping put the dinosaur bones together. Done. Uh, that doesn't look right. Oh dear, they'll have to try again. What about now? <laughs> nope, that's not right either. But wait, on the front cover. That's it. It's a T-Rex skeleton. Now they know what it is, they can put it together properly. 
Nice work, everyone. <laughs> Now it can stand in the middle of the roundabout. It's a new day on the construction site. Oh dear, Bump is so slow. He's going to be late. Mr Rubble doesn't like it when people are late. Today they're going to build a sand pit. How exciting! Diggly has dug the hole in no time at all. Oh dear, it takes Bump a long time to get anywhere. Now they just need to fill the hole with sand. But oh dear, Bump has to go all the way over there to get it. Bump looks very gloomy. Everyone is so much faster than him. But what's this? Diggly has an idea. Oh. He's making some changes to Bump's engine. Now Bump is so much faster. Whoa! Watch out, Mr. Rubble. Uh-oh. Bump is speeding around out of control. Look out for that pile of dirt. Oh, dear. Poor Bump. He's just not designed to go fast. Diggly is going to change him back. Later on, Diggly and Daisy are trying to load the sand into the sand pit. But it's taking them forever. But wait, with his big scoop, Bump can do that in no time. He may not move fast, but he can move things faster than anyone else. Nice work, Bump. He's very useful just the way he is. It's a brand new day at Construction HQ and everyone's excited to start work. But Mr Rubble looks so tired. Oops, Daisy didn't mean to knock over all the plans. There, today's plans. But something's wrong. Huh? That playhouse doesn't look right. Oh well, if that's what the plans say, that's what they'll build. Now everyone's hard at work. But oh dear, Mr Rubble is so mm -hmm. sleepy. Surely no one will notice if he has a short nap. But Diggly can't figure this out. Something is definitely wrong with these plans. But what is it? There. The playhouse is nearly finished. They just need a few finishing touches. But oh no! It doesn't stand up properly. This isn't right at all. Here's Mrs Skip. Looks like she's trying to say something. Hmm, that sign can spin upside down. That's it. The playhouse plans are upside down. That's why it looks all wrong. Now there's just one thing left to do. Three, two, one, jump! There. That woke Mr Rubble up. But the playhouse is the right way up now. Good job, everyone.